Hello and welcome back to Shadows of Doubt. We are going to be taking on a side mission, maybe hopefully, hopefully. Beta Enforcer Division. Handcuffs required. Suspect may be armed and dangerous. I don't like those. Uh, maybe I should take those. Maybe this is the only mission that works. Let's take this one. No questions asked. No questions answered. Style. This. There we go. They're going to tell me where to pick it up. Pick up the, the job. Payphone at Turkey Solutions. Wow, it's always Turkey Solutions, huh? Turkey Solutions plot route. And you really don't have a lot of time. You got to get there as quickly as possible. Hey bud, how's it going? Good evening. We want the mark publicly shamed. Throw food in their face. Take a photo of them to prove it happened. Deliver it under the door at 201 Stubbs Deluxe. Um, 201. I wonder if I had a delivery at last time and, uh, and I just failed to deliver it. Find and open the briefcase. There it is. I know it, I looked under the briefcase, uh, under here before I, I answered the phone. So it did, it does spawn it, <laughs> but either way, that's, that's fun. Um, open the briefcase. Job information updated. Identify the perp. Okay, um... Okay, unknown citizen. Type gambling den. Location Gomez house. Blueprints, yes. So that's where they work? Oh, no, this is this is Turkey Solutions. What do we know about them? Long gray hair, enforcer captain. Didn't don't I know who that is? Don't weren't they at uh, Stubbs Deluxe? Well, I guess there's different enforcer captains. There's different um, branches, enforcer branches. But I thought I found this person. They're at like 1501 stubs. We know that their um, first name initial is F. Let's just look at Bloody Shooter. I might actually have this person's ID. Um. that on the side there for a moment. 1501 Stubbs Deluxe. Uh, I guess I didn't really res pick up any information about the person that lived there. I thought I did though. Okay, but I know this person was an enforcer captain. Interests, music. Um, I don't know why I pinned it again. Long gray hair, enforcer captain. Interest, music, first name, initial F. I mean, we can look through the city directory for everyone with the first initial F. But again, we're in the situation where it's like... That could be anyone. Um, and then I have to look through everyone in, that lives in the city. Okay, well, I guess I'm doing it. Hold on. Commerce and Sons. Davies. DMs. 
to be fair, there's not a lot of people that have a uh, F. There's F Henry. 1802 Stubbs Deluxe. Just looking through the directory, looking for anyone with the first name F. To be, f yeah, I mean, to be fair, there's not that many people with the first name F. Wow. In fact, I think there's only the one. So they're at 1802 Stubbs Deluxe. We just have to find... Um, do they have long gray hair? And if they do, then we we have to throw food in their face. We're already in Stubbs Deluxe, apparently. No, we're not. Um, I don't think that's correct. Yeah, then we're not in Stubbs Deluxe. You know, uh, it does occur to me that I do need some food. So let's go to Indigo Hair. We have a coffee. I don't think that counts, though. It, it, it specifies food. Do we do we also have our camera? This is good. Um, good old hamburger. I think if I was going to have food thrown at me, it would probably be a hamburger. It's nice and soft. I, true story, I, I, I did genuinely have an egg thrown at me in real life in one, one time. It's not a, not a pleasant experience, for sure. I think the worst part about it, and like, uh, this is why I mentioned, uh, you know, if I was going to have something thrown at me, it would probably be a burger. Um, having an egg thrown at you is possibly one of the worst things, because um, there's a chance it doesn't break when it hits you. And that was the case for me, is it didn't break. So basically, you get hit by a very hard object and it just hurt a lot and it didn't break i mean i guess the the question for you is would you rather be hit by an egg and have it broken like have like you know for it to break and then you get covered in egg substance or would you prefer to uh you know have something very hard hit you Okay, no one inside right now. Where's the camera? Oh, there they are. You can just like ignore the cameras, especially if your lock picking skills are as good as mine. You might be wondering, what am I doing in here? Well, since they're not here, um, may as well. Or Crota. Oh, look at that. Enforcer Captain. This is our person for sure. Um, Francesca Henry. That's, that's our guy. Could I actually complete one of these missions? Uh oh. <laughs> and that's how you solve that problem. You just kind of sneak out and knock on the door. This could, this might not be Francesca though. All 
Are they coming or not? Just check in to see if they're actually coming in. By the way, while we're at this, why don't we go ahead and sabotage the uh, alarm switch? They're probably going to go for it as soon as I uh, have humiliated them. You know what's really humiliating? Getting food thrown at you, and then uh, when they try and like narc on you oh hello unknown citizen talk to you took your time what's your name i'm giorgio pagiano why okay well this isn't our person um do you know this person i'm not telling you well how about for 50 credits sorry that's personal how about for 100 credits nothing to do with you okay well you know what Here's the thing. We have the work rota. They work 1800 to 630 Friday to Sunday. It is currently 501. So we can assume that they're going to be working for another hour and a half. Let's go ahead and sit ourselves down and pass some time. And we're going to wait until um, 630. This 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 could use some tuning up. Let's just wait till seven. Okay, uh set alarm. Fast forward. We're at uh six eleven. Should be getting here any moment now. Actually, let's go ahead and get up. I mean, they should be getting here pretty soon, because, um, 6.30 is Thursday. So they work the night shift. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. In, it, uh, th like, they're probably on their way home now. I guess I can, uh, pass a few more minutes by. Wait, what? It's 6... 624. I thought it was, uh, 630-something. It's 642. My watch is just wrong. That's bizarre. Okay, um, set alarm. Where is this person? They should be getting home. Come on, I, I you know, I, I don't have all day. I have to publicly humiliate this person. Come on. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, some of this interface is, uh, it gives me problems. There we go. Set alarm. Like, there's no way I could have missed them, right? Let's grab some, uh, drink some water. Oh, we're hungry as well. I might end up eating this burger. It's not letting me drink. Somebody is coming to answer the door. Looking for a Francesca. Francesca Henry. Are you... No, you're, G you're Giorgio again. Where is this Francesca? My goodness. Okay. Well, let's pass some more time.
Hopefully we'll get a murder case while we're waiting for them. Oh, speak of the devil. Case opened. This, uh, I wonder if this work rota is accurate. Like, does this indicate when they're working from? No, it should, I should definitely be able to find them. Well, I mean, we can always come back to this, I suppose. I should go check out our new uh, case. <sighs> you are not who I want to talk to. Yo, do, you have, do you have a cyborg hand? That was weird. Okay, um, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna eat this burger. We're gonna go check out 1201 Stubbs Deluxe. Oh, are we all- we're already in, uh, Stubbs Deluxe. Oops. Let's go to 12. It's gonna go all the way to the bottom, isn't it? Dang, I wish you could, like, stop it. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna have to go um, get ourselves a case form anyway. So, we can't really come here yet. I guess we can keep this hamburger. Does it still count as a hamburger, even if we've eaten the contents? Back to 1201 Stubbs Deluxe. Sweetheart Stalker. Uh, I don't didn't mean to okay. This is for 1501 stubs deluxe. Oh, no 1802. What is 1501? Uh, there's so much going on right now Okay, we'll come back to Francesca sweetheart stalker is what we're doing We're going to 1201 Seems like stubs deluxe is always where our our murder cases come from What's your name? You've got long gray hair. As if I tell you. I don't know. You might tell me. Holly Thomas. Okay, you're free to go. What about you? You've got long gray hair. Sarah Malik. Okay. Never mind. Twelve oh one. We'll go and check our uh our, our case, we'll have a look around, collect some clues. It certainly complicates things when people, uh, multiple people work, uh, live in the same place. You're doing you're doing the Lord's work, my dude. Bailey Good Purse. Bailey Good. Well, it's all relevant. Twelve oh one Stubbs Deluxe. Losing my goddamn mind. 
We got a videotape. We got birth control pills. Let's get some fingerprints. What is that? Type AH. Bailey good work ID. I'm going to assume for the moment that this is our victim. Usually a good assumption. Oh, AH. Is that them? They work at Goods Compound. I haven't found the victim yet. But, you know, I just like snooping. Wait a minute, Nora. This is uh, information for Nora Basque. Okay, so we got a Nora Basque also lives here, possibly. Mm. Stubs Deluxe for Bailey Good. Arm pain. Treatment of diabetes. Bailey Good. Nora Basque. Bailey Good. Nora Basque, birth, of, of birth certificate. Bailey Good birth certificate. Okay. We've got the telephone. Let's go ahead and do this right away. Get ourselves a phone number. Nice. And let's see if maybe for once we'll get the last number dialed. Unable to get last caller information. Okay. We got a dress book. Go ahead and pin that. Still haven't found the victim. Okay. Bailey and O forever. That is um, definitely uh, relevant. And there's a heart around our victim. And I think the possibly the murder weapon. I'm going to assume this is a uh, bludgeoning. Now, the body isn't there. That's unfortunate. So there's a couple bugs still. Okay. Bailey good. Take print. Um, inspect. So they are type uh, AH. For the... Um, what is this? Oh, okay, never mind. A wound caused by a blunt object. Well, what do you know? I was on to something there. From examining the body, it appeared that the victim has been bludgeoned to death. I can determine the time of death is between 7.45 and 9. Inspect. We're good. Um, take, I already took the print. And I already searched, I guess. Blunt object. Okay. So there's our murder weapon. Inspect it. There it is. I have to assume that's the murder weapon, so let's go ahead and take some prints on it. AI. I knew that AI was up to no good. So we know that uh, it was, uh, um, you know, we have the fingerprints. We have a footprint. Boot size 14. Don't know if that's Bailey Good's foot, uh, boot, uh, boot print. Here, shoe size is 10. So we can be pretty sure that that might be the killers. Fingerprint a Bailey good in the trash. We'll have a look through this trash probably last 
Whoa, AJ. We've got an AJ. I'm gonna assume that that is um, Nora Basque. We got a videotape. I wish the videotapes could be watched. We got a shopping list. I, uh, list. I don't tend to care about the shopping list. The reason I'm uh, I care this time is I, I you know I think that this person was stalking them. You know, hence, sweetheart stalker. We could try and uh, track down, see and uh, see uh, see if they were being followed. Um, not much over here. Work Rota. Bailey Good. Okay, we've got Bailey Good's Work Rota. Floor Manager. I don't know if we know where she works yet. Work ID. Yeah, we do. Good's Compound. Okay, um, so yeah, we're looking, f we'll look there next, but we're far from done here. Now, uh, this could have been someone that um, Bailey knew, so it might be worth it right away to look through the directory. What is this? Journal. Saw him again this time in P Pagano's. I swear it was the same person as last week. Tried to tell Cody, but couldn't. It sounded so stupid. Unless I really am losing my mind Tuesday. Didn't sleep last night. Work was awful. Couldn't concentrate, and Bailey is starting to notice. Walked the long way home. Didn't see anyone, but that doesn't mean they weren't there. Someone was outside my door last night. Could see the shadow of their shoes just standing there. Was too scared to do anything. Maybe Cody will let me st stay. Well, the thing is, that from the, the way it, this is phrased, it sounds like this is actually the journal of uh, Norrin Basque. So what I was going to say is, let's look through the address book. I'm going to see if there's anyone here with the first name that starts with O. And there's Orlando. That, uh, you know, that kind of sticks out right away. There's this 401 Novak house. Not really... I'm going to put that way over there because that, that's a long shot. Uh, Odell. And Oscar. Wow, we got a lot of O's, actually. Got a lot of things to follow up on here. Uh, we got that journal. Did I make a note of that journal? Doesn't... Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. And uh, is there fingerprints on that journal? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. So we're looking for um, a number cruncher in office. Here we go. But I don't think I have... Um, I don't think I have a, a password for anyone yet. Death by mail. Danger. I won't, I've never looked through these books. But book, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. Wait, V Mail Valentine? <laughs> I wonder if there's a built-in mechanic for sliding these out. Like, why, why would one slide them out? That's interesting. How to grow house grass. You can slide it out, but it doesn't seem like you can do anything other than that. You can't even take it out of the uh, bookcase. Paperclip. Oh, letter. 
Uh, dear Ma, how's life in fields? It sounds just fine. I'd visit, but we both know that won't be for a long time. Things are okay here, except some weird stuff has been happening lately. Things of mine going missing from work. Some mail coming around late at night. It's probably nothing. The city gets worse by the... This is the most in-depth uh, murder case I think I've gotten so far. We've got a... Oh, that's our, our uh, work ID again. We'll definitely want to check out her workplace. What is this? Lazarus silence silenced Lazarus Let's check that for fingerprints. I mean if it's uh, Bailey's I wouldn't blame her Honestly, yeah She was definitely uh, suspecting some stuff And wanted some protection and that makes a lot of sense Okay, before I go and get a num um, a code breaker to get into her computer. Um, I probably want to just check her workplace. I mean, for one thing, we could probably look at the surveillance of her workplace and see, uh, see if anyone was, like, watching her. I do wonder if there's, like, um, you know, stuff in the game built. Oh, and there's another journal. Saw him again today in Pagano's. I swear it was the same person as last week. Tried to tell Kishanda, but couldn't. It sounded so stupid. Con couldn't concentrate and Bailey is starting to notice. This is a another journal by uh, Norrin Basque. Weird. I, I feel like that's not proper. Note, remember your passcode this time. Passcode equals the year you were born. And this is, uh, Bailey Good. I don't know if it's from Bailey Good to Nora Basque, but either way, we should be able to, um, break into their, um, their, their computer number cruncher at this point. We got a business card. I'm be I'm kind of being very disorganized. Oh, we got a lockpick. Whoops. About, um, you know, I'm just kind of throwing pins all over the place. It's because I don't really have any system yet. I've got a heal. I wonder if I... Can I see... Inspect heal. Size 14. Our but, uh, footprint is what? Oh, it is actually a size 14. But, so, that, that might have been either Bailey Good or Nora Basks. Your passcode is Bailey's year of birth. Got to change it soon. Daffodil Ward, Nora Basque. So I think we've got both um, passcodes at this point. What is this note? Okay, so let's put these notes together because they're both passcodes. And we'll put them next to the birth certificates. Pretty sure I have both birth certificates. I do. Okay. Um, business card, paper clip. So let's uh, start with this keypad. 19... 56? Nope. Okay, we'll try the other one. 1950. There we go. We've got a sync disk upgrade vial. I'll definitely take that. Inventory full. Oops. We've got a sync disk. I'll drop the hamburger for now. No, I'll drop the coffee. I don't think I can upgrade myself from here, right? No, I need to be in a in a sync upgrade place. Okay, now let's try the uh, number cruncher. I'm not sure which code is which, so we'll try both. 
The one I care about, I think, is probably, um, goods. Oh, so that's the one we had. Very good. So let's get her profile. Um, oops. Always make that mistake. So we've got her full profile, got a little bit more information about her. Maybe her V-mail has, uh, people, uh, you know, new match named Timothy. We're looking for a match with, uh, someone that starts with O. It could be that Timothy is their first name. We'll look into that for sure. New match. Three matches from this Timothy person. Cornubia. Reminder. Lunch date. Japanese proverbs. Pest control. I'm sorry from Sarisha Dickey. Book grubs. Okay, well... Not super helpful. Um, but... This three matches from Timothy. Could be something. If it's you calling me late at night, please stop or I'll take it to HR. Too unknown. It's a real dang shame that it didn't give us a name here. Oh, wait, we have a stalking email. Worth, worth uh, noting this. Dear Bailey Good, uh, thank you for submitting a report to the Enforcer Citizen Liaison Division, a subsidiary of the Starch Cola Corporation, to report that you are being stalked and harassed. A clerical assistant... It's not like... Oh, there we go. Hold on. We'll respond to your report within 10 working days for a fee of 150 credits. Starch Cola members receive an automatic 50% discount. Yay! So we don't really have... This isn't like... You know, we know we, she was being stalked. Look, I didn't want to bring this up. So we have the same email again. But one thing we do know is... Uh, I'm pretty sure that whoever's stalking her works with her. It's It seems pretty, you know, verifiable. So, um, let's go ahead and check out her workplace. Uh, employment contract business card. No, that's Nora Basque. Pretty sure we can rule her out. Good compound. Let's go. So, um, she was she was beaten with a, um, you know, a dumbbell, which sucks. She was definitely stalked. It seems like she was sharing emails or like telling the person a person that worked with her that. Uh, to stop, you know, following her. We have to imagine that the person's name has an O in it. Either first or last name. I'm going to assume first name. Uh, I'm going to visit the sink clinic real quick and um, upgrade my... Uh, my, one, my one sink that I can. Here we go, beauty. This is a really good one too. Twenty percent uh, better chance for like to share information for free. It's a really good one. Like that's that just seems kind of overpowered, honestly. Gotta make those upgrades while you can, honestly, because like uh, they take up a lot of extra inventory space. I kind of wish they didn't take up inventory space. Like I, I kind of wish that like if you just left leave a place with a sync disc, disc uh upgrade that um it just like becomes it's like a currency that you can spend power room is this where we're going
Is this is this actually the place? Well, we have a <laughs> We actually have um A mark what the is the I guess it's showing us where we're trying to get to Is this really the goods place goods compound Guyton Greer. That's the second time we've met Guyton Greer. We have employee details. Bailey Good. There she is. Ellis Gerard. Charissa Dickey. Well, we've knew about her a little bit. She's somewhat relevant. I'm trying to flip through these, but I can't really see what I'm doing. Guyton Greer. There doesn't seem to be a lot of people that work here. Hmm. Is that really everything? AL, wait a minute. Charissa Dickey. No, we're looking for AI. Okay, what do we got here? This is probably the telephone router, which is not helpful. It is, in fact, the telephone router. We could look at outgoing. There is literally nothing here. Dang. Five credits. Well, uh, let's look at these journals for a moment. Tried to tell Cody. We don't know who Cody is, but this could be something completely unrelated. I didn't, did I not make a note of that second journal? Several reports of them flirting with other employees, but I don't think that like neither of their names are seem very relevant. I'm gonna go into the surveillance room if I can. This whole place is out of bounds. Um, we Bailey Goods code should be good here, actually. Let me see here. 1950. Actually worked. Can't believe it. Let's check the safe. Dang. Uh, that's not good. Let's turn the camera off. Open. Whoops. I accidentally closed the safe again. We got another sync disk vial, which I will take. 
And a comb. Oh my god, a comb. Uh, the fingerprint from Bailey Good. So, what do we got here? Employee database. Anyone starting with the letter O? Nope. Um, who are we logged into right now? Uh, to unknown. How do we find out who this was to? I don't understand. I guess we're logged into Bailey Good right now. Which is odd. I won't lie. It's kind of looking like the Sharisa Dicky is involved somehow. Let's look at surveillance. Let's look for, um... Bailey Good. That's a enforcer. There's Bailey Good. Toggle. Wait, what? Didn't mean to do that. I, 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 I want to toggle. It's not toggling. Okay. Um, well, there's Bailey Good. Who is this? Guyton Greer. Not, not really important. Enforcers, Guyton Greer. Okay, well, here's what we're looking for. We're looking for, um, Bailey Good with someone else. You know, we we're looking for the person who is following her. Specifically at work. Ellis Gerard. I don't think that Ellis Gerard is it. I mean, who knows? It could be. Wait, who is that? Unknown citizen. So we've got a we've got a unknown citizen here. Um no name, of course. May as well print the ones that are like and unfortunately I, can't, I really can't make out anything in these pictures. Let's uh let's look for Bailey Good specifically. Those are the, that's the, that's what matters, right? Where is Bailey Good? I never these uh I I, I got to say I struggle quite a bit with the surveillance. I'm, I'm now just like trying to find Bailey good and I'm not finding anything. I'm just finding this one dude. Yo, my dude, stop being so busy. Who is this? Shara, Sharisa Dickey. Really unfortunate name. I'm sorry if your real name is, is Dickey. Unknown citizen. Here a couple of times, and they don't—they don't seem to work here. Not oh whoa 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 whoa. whoa. No, nope. unknown citizen. Not not Bailey Good. Foreman. Okay, well that's like largely unhelpful. All of that. There's a se separate camera. Obviously, we can look at that, but uh. who's that unknown citizen? 
They appear a couple of times, actually. Uh, this is, um, I don't think that this is very helpful. Back room. Storeroom. Is there a storeroom? Didn't realize that. Seems to me only one person hangs out in there. No, oh, never mind. Every it's pretty active. Okay, so like, yeah, none of this is getting me anywhere. I I really thought that uh, like we're filing. We're, we're talking to someone at work about being stalked. The thing that's really throwing me off is honestly this um this photo of you know Bailey and O forever. Who's O? Like if it wasn't for that, I would be like, I I, I would I would have a lot of um, potential matches, you know, a lot of people. But I I yeah I just like, I don't know. None nothing is uh becoming clear here. What do we have here? Inspect paper stack. Bailey Stubbs. Nope, nothing there. Money? Actually, quite a bit of money. I feel bad about taking the money. It just seems, like, too easy. Business card. Bailey good. Lipstick. Is it her lipstick? And it's her fingerprints on her fi a lipstick. Why am I lo ch checking her stuff for fingerprints? Well, like, I don't know how good the simulation is here. Pistol ammunition. And really what I'm looking for is like, was there someone else's fingerprints on her perfume? You know, seems relevant. None of these drawers have anything in them. Oh boy. So apparently I have triggered the alarm. Goods compound and cafeteria. Mincy's management. So this is like a whole thing. This place is like way more in, in depth than I thought. Uh, oh, we have a pin, a board of, um, employees. Here we go. This could be good. Bailey good. That makes sense. Sherry, Sherry Dickey. Ellis Gerard. Guyton Greer. Wow. Okay, so no one, no one's name has an O in it at her work. Which, like, what, what is going on here? You know, uh, I'm, I'm feeling like this is almost, uh, you know, meant to mislead us. Bailey and O forever. I'm, I'm thinking I might start disregarding this, but we still don't have a matching fingerprint on the dumbbell. So, I mean, that is worth mentioning, like. I can't disregard the O completely because we we've just looked at the you know we, we have the employee information on everyone that works with her and none of them match the dumbbell so you know I I think that the the place of work is uh is is becoming a dead end which is a real shocker honestly um 
Yeah, I'm not sure what to look at next. I guess the thing I might look at... Uh, you know what? I do know what to look up next. In the next episode, what we'll do is we're going to look at some of these O's. Um, first of all, we know that um, she matched with a person named uh, T. Where is this? Yeah, Timothy. So if one of these O's, um, if it's like Timothy Orlando, Timothy Odell, Timothy Oscar, um, that's pretty relevant. We could, in fact, you know, I've got five minutes left before the end of the episode. Let's do that now. I'm going to go find a directory. Um, maybe somewhere to have a cup of coffee. You know, you know my mainstay. You know my favorite place. Place I call my own. The Indigo Hair. <laughs> but yeah, um... What I might do real quick is I'm going to look up some of these names in the directory and see if any of them have a, uh, have a Timothy in them, have a T. And, uh, that would make them a pretty good candidate. Let's check the directory real quick. So, uh, Odell. I'm, again, I don't know if these are, like, let's start by looking up T. Uh, I'm not seeing a Timothy there. Okay, so let's look up O then. I don't know if these are all first names, like Orlando, Odell. I, I don't know, like, when you look at an address book, are we looking at someone's first name or their last name? I guess something we could do is look up... Like, let's start by looking up Orlando. See, um... I'm not, I'm not seeing an Orlando here at all. Which leads me to believe that it's their first name. I can't look up a Timothy, so unfortunately that means there's kind of a conflict here because none of these, none of these people, um, well, none of them are the person that they, that, uh, matched with Bailey Good. Like, they're, none of them have anything to do with this, this match on her email. Which is fine. We don't necessarily need that to be the case. So all we really need to do at this point is look, um, track down these three people. Not, not a difficult thing to do, really. Um, we've got their phone number and address, right? So let's, uh, let's start by marking down their address. So, okay, uh, Orlando 104 Stubbs Deluxe. Let's pin that. Um, I'm struggling a little bit with the interface today. So that's that's Orlando's uh, address. Then we'll do uh, Odell's. 104 Gomez House. And Oscar. 402 Gomez House. If we uh, had a phone number, like, last person that contacted Bethany Good, or, uh, sorry, Bailey Good, then, you know, we'd, we'd be a long way to figuring this out. You know, something I haven't tried too hard to do before is calling these people. Let's try calling Orlando. Seems like calling people never seems to work too well. 
Well, honestly, if no one's picking up, that means that they're a good first candidate to check in on, because I could snoop around without being pestered. Okay, well, let's make Orlando our first trip then. And uh, we'll call the episode there. I'm going to head to uh, Stubbs Deluxe, but uh, we'll start the next episode by snooping around their apartment. Uh, I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, definitely hit that uh, like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Just going to myself right in front of their door here. Have a good one.